If you are looking for how to get the brand new Labyrinth Armor set from the Swamps of Courses update, you've come to the right place. My name is Livid, and I'm here to break it all down for you, step by step, to get you that sweet, sweet loot. The very first step in this process is you need to encounter the Iskal Queen on Adventure Mode. Inside her throne room, she will thank you for delivering her their guardian's heart and gift you the Cryptolith Sigil. Now once you have this, you're free to fight her or just straight up leave. Either one is fine as you will still retain this quest item. Your priority now switches to locating the Cryptolith. Now there are Cryptolith towers that can spawn in places such as Rom, Yasha, and even Earth. Some have other secrets associated with them as well. Now I simply kept my focus on courses as I was trying to find all the items there first. Now in each adventure mode playthrough, you have a chance of encountering the Cryptolith as a tile spawn. You need to simply access the Cryptolith and use the Cryptolith sigil on it, but you can only do so once per world roll. This means you need to find this spawn on three separate adventure world rolls. Now the first time you use the sigil, you'll be granted the concentration trait, which increases your weapon mod durations by 20% at max level. The second time you use the sigil, you'll be granted the Blood Bond trait, which grants you up to 15% damage absorption by your summons whenever you as the summoner takes damage at max level. Now the last thing you get by using the Cryptola Sigil, and what you all came here to find out, is the Labyrinth set. Now activating that final spot on the pillar will activate a portal nearby. Entering this portal, you will be transported to a rather desolate region of the Labyrinth itself. Inside you will find all three pieces of the armor set. The first two are rather straightforward, but the headpiece is a little trickier to find, as you need to essentially take a leap of faith in order to find it hidden below the main central platform. Now I'll keep the routes playing in the background as we go over each part of the armor itself. Now the armor set bonus for the Labyrinth set is that you will increase your total weapon mod damage with each additional piece equipped. You'll receive a 15% bonus with one piece, 30% with two, and a whopping 50% extra mod damage with three pieces. Another little added benefit is that all scrap and iron drops will automatically be pulled toward you when you are near them, making scrap farming a lot more efficient time-wise. Now this is actually an incredible set for pure mod power builds, and I'll be doing some breakdowns on all this at a future date. Now if you found this video useful, leave a like or a comment down below, and remember to join our fast-growing community over on Discord. We have an amazing group of people from all sorts of games over there, and we'd love to continue to build up our Remnant community. As always, my name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.